Praise the Lord. That was an amazing, an amazing thing that we as the people of God need to really understand and walk in the ways of the Almighty God. Now, friends, I want to share with you the story of a man. And I know some of you might have heard this story. But there is a story of a man and his name was William, General William Booth. General William Booth is the founder of the Salvation Army Church. And he was such a great revivalist, a man that was so driven with compassion. This man was so full of the Holy Ghost. You know, it's possible that today people, you may look at what the Salvation Army is today in the world and think that William Booth was intent on setting up um, a religious movement, a religious organization or a denomination. That man was not a man that was looking to establish a denomination. He was a man that was so, so pregnant with the burden for the souls to come to the Lord, to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And history has it that this man one day, uh, he went to, he was somewhere with his son, Bramwell, and in, in a room, he had his own room and his son, Bramwell, had in an, was in another room. And in the middle of the night, Bramwell would hear movements in the, in the, in the bedroom of his father. And so Bramwell decided to open the door and find out what was wrong with his father because he thought his father was sick or something had befallen him. So the young Bramwell opens the door to his father's bedroom and he finds his father with a towel around his waist and another towel dipped in water over his head because the guy was sweating and the guy was really, and so the father, the boy finds his father, you know, crying, sopping, you know, just, you know, cry, with real, real deep crying, like someone in real excruciating pain. And the son asks, Daddy, what is the matter? Are you sick? And the man said, no, son, I am not sick. And the son said, why are you, what are you doing this hour of the night, Daddy? You ought to be in bed sleeping. But the, boys, the, the man says, son, how can I go to bed? How can I go to bed and sleep? When people are perishing in sin, when people are perishing in sin, when young men all over the world are just, when, I mean, do you know of a family that has lost their son to drug and substance abuse or their daughter to prostitution? Do you know of a family that has lost their son or daughter to gangs and, you know, a child who is in gang movement and everything? I want you to imagine the pain that the father and the mother is going through. I want you to imagine the pain of a woman who has lost her marriage because the husband is swept in, in the flood of sexual perversion or a wife is swept in the, in the flood of sexual perversion. I want you to imagine the pain that these people go through. So... And, and that's what William Booth is saying. How can I give myself comfort when people are perishing? When, when people, because, you know, in his mind, you know, the Bible is so very clear that the wages of sin is death. So if these people are not get, going to be born again, what, what's going to happen to them? They are going to die. They are going to be completely separated from God in eternity, and they are going to burn in hell forever and ever. And as an intercessor and as a soul winner, if I have been sent and called by God as a soul winner, then I have got to prevail in prayer, in intercessions for the ministry that God has called me unto. If God has called you to reach out to the widows, if he has called you to reach out to the widowers or to the people with impairments or all any form of, I mean, people suffering or a certain group of people like in gangs, like what David Wilkerson did in New York, going out, going for the drug and 
drug and uh, drug abusers and gangs. You cannot do that kind of ministry if you did not prevail in prayer. I just want you to take the example of David Wilkerson. How could you pray and minister to a people that even want to kill you? This is something. It is You have got to be so much sunken into prayer that the ministry of prayer is so real in you, the, the prevailing prayer is in you in order to see the changes that are necessary for the society. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God will put in, in each one of us a burden for prayer. You know, when you read the book of Isaiah when, about the watchmen on the walls, and the scripture says, give yourself no peace. Those of you who watch over Jerusalem, do not give yourself peace. This is a call to a real prayer of I mean, prevailing prayer, a moment where you do not give yourself any comfort until you have seen the results, until righteousness is flowing like a river and salvation is sweeping across the entire nation. It is important for us to stand in the gap and pray and prevail in prayer for the nation that God has given us. Friend, I have talked about William Booth a man who could not give himself a moment of prayer, or, or, I mean, of rest to go down on bed, in bed and, and, pray and sleep because he was concerned about the souls of, of the souls of the people that God had called him to reach out to. And this is a man who turned, this is a man who turned Great Britain to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a man who was so full of compassion and, you know, it is such an amazing thing. And those of you who have watched his vision, what we call the vision of William Booth, when he saw the souls of men drowning in sin, you actually need to have a vision to understand as an intercessor, to understand the severity of the judgment of God. If your mother is not born again, if your father is not born again, if your children are not born again, if your husband is not born again, if your wife is not born again, if your relatives are not born again, beloved, they are going to burn in hell. And there is no need for us to let our people go burn in hell, yet we can stand in the gap and pray and call on the name of the Lord God Almighty and God will hear our prayers. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. And I give you all the praise and all the glory because you are the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and who will be forever. God, I just pray for the burden of prayer to be released on the heart of every man, in the heart of every man and woman listening to this broadcast, Lord, that we will go forth and pray and seek the face of the Lord with the help of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Spiritual nourishment. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.